Oh, let me take the earplugs out. I was working earlier this morning. These are not the hands of a person who sits on his tail. Ah! Anyway, welcome to our channel. We appreciate each and every one of you. You are the salt of the earth. You are the smartest audience in the world. And you are the most active audience in the world. You, uh, you're getting ready. Our audience is getting ready. And we're limping along without YouTube. That The German courts was ruled to be illegal when they pulled down videos because you speak your mind. But YouTube never changed. They don't have to change. Google doesn't have to change. They control the internet. They control bank accounts. So do they have to comply? No, they don't have to comply. So the German courts can jump up and down and scream and holler. They don't have to comply. This is brought to you by uh, Biotrust Keto. We ordered more. It uh, makes me not hungry. This medium chain triglyceride makes me not hungry. That's all I need to know. It makes me not hungry. What's the matter, Jane? It works. It works. There's nothing wrong. You were giving me that funny look. Caprylic acid is the bomb, but there's lots of different caprylic acids, and this one works. I've tried keto from other companies. I really have. I mean, i got bottles of stuff. You see the inside of my office. It's just like lined with bottles of stuff. Keto works, and then finally you find something that works. You read about it, then you try it. It doesn't work, and finally you find something that works. Part of the problem is... The other ketos come in little bottles and you get little, little bitty amounts, which is fine with get the tea because the cinnamon is, the gymnema works and everything. But with keto, you need a good chunk of it. So I took two spoonfuls of it today and I put the collagen in here because I wanted my body not to be hungry. If I'm hungry, I eat oatmeal. No sugar in it. Anyway, on to the stories. La Palma is bursting. But we're going to talk about La Palma in a little bit. The problem with La Palma is, and I know I know, Jane said this looks like something that's kind of pornographic, but this is what uh, La Palma looked like. This is the ocean. It's this column that comes up, and it's been spurting and spurting and building this, but now it's been spurting here and building this huge shelf. So you can scuba dive under La Palma. Massive caves under there. The problem is, if this thing gets too big, it's just going to go... Well, it's kind of like this. It's just going to go whacko. When it goes whacko, it's going to create a wave headed to the east coast of the United States. Well, that's probably, that whacko is probably not going to be very good. I know, you're laughing, Jane. Well, that's what it looks like. Guam is like that also. So that's why a congressman said, if we put more military equipment on it, is Guam going to fall over? Mm, I don't know. Flipping a grain of sand could cause it to fall over. I don't know what's going on under Guam. Anyway, um, Boeing is protesting federal mandates, which really aren't federal mandates. They're just somebody says something, and then the companies are ordering their people to, to comply with federal mandates, and they don't want to comply with federal mandates. Um, but it may not matter because the Boeing 787 and the 737 are grounded. They can't get the computer system right. You can't fly a 737 without a computer. That's insane. A train in Japan just kept going and going and going because the computer system failed. You can't run a jet on all computers. That's stupid. It's insanity. It's absolute insanity. Boeing's gone insane. What was the best is now the worst. First shall be last and last shall be first. Boeing was the best plane manufacturer when they built the 707, the 717, the 727, and then they built the 737 and 747, and after that it just went downhill. Except the 737 was garbage. Oh, we'll fix the computer to make the plane fly right. Are you stupid, Boeing CEO? Yes, he is stupid. He doesn't care. As long as the United States Corporation pays Boeing for every jet that they build, they don't care, and then they give it to the other countries to spread the U.S. dollar around. Because along with, when Boeing ships a 747, say they sell it to Saudi Arabia, along with it comes a bunch of specialists who know how to work on the 747. So U.S. dollars are spread around the world when the U.S. pays $200 million for a special 747. Except now they can't even get Air Force One right. They found those two whiskey bottles in under the dashboard in Air Force One, two little whiskey bottles. Um, it's a mess. They cannot tie the electronics together. They're having a, a devil of a time. So maybe that's good, right? Boeing is protesting, but there aren't going to be any jobs to come back to when they're done protesting because they make the Dreamliner just north of here 
and they're all protesting, but it's wearing out prematurely. It's supposed to go for 40 years. It's, the skin is worn off after 10 years. They have to reskin the plane. And then the, the gaps, when they put the sections together, there's, there's five one thousandths of an inch gap, and they put some fillers, and it all cracked loose. They got some real problems with the Dreamliner. And they're 737. And they're 777. And they're 767. And they're 757. Anyway, um, and on the payment schedule, Social Security looks like it's going up maybe 5.9%, even though inflation has gone up. I mean, food prices have gone up 100% in two years. And they're going to raise Social Security 6%. They're mad. The current administration is mad. And the VA payment may go up 5%. Cicero. How to win an election. In detail. Written in 64 A or BC. Cicero. He ran. He won. What did he do? He promised every group in the world everything. And then he delivered nothing. That's what you do. It's what every president has done since I have been around, starting with, with Nixon and Kennedy. They promised the moon and delivered nothing. Nixon said, we're not going to get the feds involved in anything. Kennedy said, we're going to get the feds involved in everything. We're going to grow the federal budget like crazy. He did. And came Johnson. He grew the federal budget like crazy. And then, and then the race was on to grow the feds. Just take over everything. So, um, and that's what they've done. And the Navy was testing a new green laser two days ago in Southern California. They didn't tell anybody what it was for. In 1968, we could read a driver's license through clouds at 100,000 feet. Today, we can look at the hair on a gnat's rear end. You need to explain what that is. What? A green laser. We don't know. They were using a green laser to map. They claimed it was for mapping. But I don't think so. They're experimenting on us in every which way that they can. And I think the Navy was conducting a new experiment. We don't know what the green laser did. We don't know, Jane. Well, what, what did the article say? What was the repercussions? The article said it was for mapping, but they're lying. Because we can see a grain of sand from Mars on Earth. So when you see all these red pictures with, with, with uh, blurry pictures, you know that NASA's lying through their teeth. You know it. You know they're lying through their teeth. So we don't know what the green laser was for. There was no environmental impact statement filed or written or that environmental assessment. They just did it. We don't know what it was for. We don't know, Jane. Was there an, a, an event that, that from the it? The plane just flew over and started firing green lasers at everybody. And they claim it was on the coastline, but people who got hit with green lasers were in the cities. So the Navy lied about where they went. The Navy lied about what it was going. The bigger they get... The more evil they become. Go ahead, Jane. Was there a, a, did it make people sick? We're not allowed to report on that. Oh, hail our masters. We're not allowed to report on whether or not a green laser, but, but I don't know. We don't know. We don't know what it did to people. They just went around the Southern California, Los Angeles area using a green laser, scanning people. Beep, 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 beep. They said, oh, no, it's all on the coastline. Really? Is that why millions of people were scanned? We don't know. Maybe it causes the big C. Maybe it makes you healthier. We don't know. I just keep remem remembering the two most important, three most important experiments that I have seen. And that is when they gave a lot of the Hanford workers an injection of plutonium. And that is Tuskegee. And that is when they walked the American troops into the atomic bomb blast. And they refused to cover them for cancer. We used to call that murder, but now we just call it a, a military experiment. So, um, and then, we don't know what, what they were doing, Jane. We have no idea. When did this happen? Two days ago. In the middle of the day, they just hit everybody with a green laser out there walking. What the hell heck was that for? Why did I just kid? There's this plane flying over with a green laser. We're still using propeller aircraft we designed in the Wright Brothers' time. We've had anti-gravity propulsion systems since 1936. Unbelievable lies from our Navy. And Marine Lieutenant Colonel, who's in the Marines, another Navy officer, because the Marines are part of the Navy, if you remember. This Lieutenant Colonel 
said, why in the evacuation app am I going to miss Dan? I can't pronounce it correctly because we can't say that on YouTube. Why did 13 soldiers go boom? Why did we know 24 hours beforehand? He asked for accountability. So they threatened him and threw him in the brig. Are you talking about Schiller? So Lieutenant Colonel Schiller finally got a sentence. They took one month pay away and recommended that he get a general discharge with honorable conditions. He resigned, but they refused his resignation, which is illegal in the Army ranks. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. General Milley is a traitor. The Joint Chiefs of Staff are traitors. They are above the Army regulations. All hail our master and leader, General Milley the Pig. Do you like how they've taken our eyes off the Afghanistan debacle? Oh, we can't say that. We can say Afghanistan. Yeah, do you like how they've taken our eyes off that? And we realize that General Milley is a traitor and a murderer. 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 Almost all battles fought, almost all major battles were fought with plus or minus three days of a full moon. The evacuation began 22 August. Full moon human sacrifice. General Milley the traitor. And NASA is creating another El Ninja in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, which is supposed to make the whole western United States wet. But thanks to NASA, California and everything east of California is not going to get any rain. And when you call NASA, they tell you to read between the lines. Ha 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 ha, we're the demons and you can't touch us because we're fully funded by the CIA. I mean the Biden administration. I'll tell you what, pray that NASA loses its budget and DARPA and Lockheed Martin are shut down. But they won't be shut down. They own the government. They have the super duper top secret space program run by out of Bethesda, Maryland, by Lockheed Martin's Advanced Technology Group, which is called Skunk Works. Anyway, um, so we're going to have dry weather in the southeast, and we're going to discuss that tomorrow on when we discuss why we need to buy food, and there's no food production in California, which is the most productive state in the Union, while there's very little food production in Nevada, Arizona, and all the other dry places, since the governors are traitors. Governor Abbott went like this, the football game. Hail Satan, hail Satan. Yeah, tell me he's not a traitor. Um, and here is the full depression. Inflation is running away. We have inflation go. Food prices have doubled in two years, and the Social Security Administration is going to give the seniors the five point, either six or five point nine percent increase. You're going to get less than a six percent increase while food prices double. They are traitors at the top. And that's all you got to remember. They're traitors, they're liars, they're cheaters, and murderers. Remember, Lucifer was the human race, the fifth root race, the fourth root race, and the fifth, third root race, gone by 1 April 2025, and they're doing everything they can, but they first must make the United States go away. Head of the Jesuits, the Jesuit interview. You pull the video down, you got the Jesuits to play with. Anyway, as of today, two-thirds of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck and not saving a dime, and half of Americans can't pull $400 out of their rear. Half of Americans don't have $400 they can pull out of their bank account. They're right living on the edge. This is Now, what happens when you're living on the edge and the administration decides to increase the taxes on everything, like gasoline... You know, the gasoline went up from two fifty to four dollars four fifty a gallon, not because the increase in gas prices, but because the increase in taxes. All hell our massa. Governor Jay Ensley. He's increased most of the increases you're now experiencing on food and gasoline are caused by tax increases. Hey, you libtards wanted libtards in charge, now you're paying four fifty a gallon sometimes. Up to eight dollars in some places in California. You wanted them, them lefties in in office. Well, here you go. Now you're locked down. Can't go anywhere. So, um, taxes. all the old Biden's fault. Well, this time, well, he's not in charge. It's all the CIA's I know, but fault. That's the that's what you can say. The it's ships, all Joe Biden's fault. The ships off of San Diego. It's, it's all Joe Biden's wrote, fault. Wrote something, Brandon, which was when they were. He's yeah. the guy who won the race. and it was Let's there. go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. The ships actually wrote that from the air, so you can see, let's go, Brandon. Because everybody was yelling, F Biden, not let's go, Brandon. 
and the reporter lied about it, just lied. I mean, you can hear him in the background, and she's lying, 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 lying. And every so, what happens from now? Well, let's see. No transportation for food because the food's sitting on the dock rotting. Um, gas prices are going up because we have another. Or they're going to double the taxes on gas from the feds. Let's see. So prices are going to go up. Availability is going to go down. Food harvests are plummeting because of NASA and DARPA. So no food. You know what this is going to be known taxes. as? What? This is going to be known as the toilet paper revolution. Because they, they're not... You know, Georgia Pacific is in maximum production of toilet paper, but Costco withheld all this toilet paper. Then they took their brand, raised the price by, I think it was $5 a case, and then put their brand back. So you just feel so lucky just to get toilet paper, but you're paying... And you can have one. Yeah, you can have one case of toilet paper. And they got the warehouses stocked with Charmin, but they won't release it because they want you to get used to higher prices. See, when they create a shortage, that means they can jack up the price. Oh, there's a shortage of bacon. Jack up the price. Oh, there's a shortage of gasoline. Raise the taxes. Oh, there's a shortage of toilet paper. Raise the taxes. Raise the prices. Oh, there's a shortage on blah, blah, blah. They raise the taxes and raise the prices. That's what the shortages are all about. But this time, the shortages are going to be real. Because there ain't going to be nothing to buy. Just The reason the toys aren't on the shelf in California is because of the California governor, CIA, I mean the governor, said that all toys must be gender neutral. He's gone. He's gone crazy. Double park bat shit. <laughs> double park bat shit crazy. There's idiots and then there's double idiots. And the double idiots are double park. Double park, double idiots. Newsom knows exactly what he's doing. I mean, the CIA doubles know exactly what they're doing. So the CIA is jacking taxes up to the moon, jacking prices up to the moon, decreasing availability, and the CIA is doing what they've been planning to do. To it's America. all George. It's all George Joe, Bush's fault. No, it, no, it's all Joe Biden's fault. Joe Biden ain't there. We haven't seen the blue-eyed Joe Biden in nine months. Yeah, but he's the figurehead. He's dead. Now it's all doubles: green-eyed, brown-eyed, and the black-eyed one. Oh my God, is he evil? And then the ones with the with the masks, because you can see here, there's a change in skin color. <laughs> they are so sloppy, the stupid people at the CIA. Anyway, God bless. Thank you very much. We appreciate each and every one of you. We'll see you tomorrow.